My name's Angela and I'm a member of the Norfolk Federation of WIs. Very sadly, my son, who was an academic high flyer, um, became mentally ill. In fact, he was diagnosed with schizophrenia at the age of 22. From that time onwards, he was in and out of psychiatric hospitals for more than 10 years. Unfortunately, he ended up in prison, which is something that happens very often to people with mental illness, especially those with a dual diagnosis of an addiction. When he was finally sentenced, he did find that just too difficult to deal with, and six weeks after the sentencing, he actually committed suicide in prison. Obviously, the whole family were completely devastated, and as a member of the WI, I was aware that the resolutions are something that we work for each year in order to, to try and highlight things that are wrong in our communities. I'm Ruth Bond, and I am the National Chair of the Women's Institute, the WI. We have a campaign running at the moment which we call Care Not Custody and this is about the issue of keeping people with mental illness away from prison. This came about because one of our members had a tragedy in her family. Her son killed himself whilst in custody. Sadly the authorities had let him down and there was nowhere for him to turn. This lady took her concerns to her WI. They spoke about it and decided that with the force of the whole of the organisation behind them, perhaps a difference could be made. Putting people into prison if they have an illness, a mental illness, can make them even worse. To be feeling so isolated and alone in this dark place where they feel so completely lost, where they're probably wondering why they're there. This is not what we need, especially for those who should have been cared for in the community. The strength of the Women's Institute is recognised by politicians and decision makers across England and Wales. We are listened to and when the WI takes up a campaign, it continues with it until a difference has been made. I'm Lord Keith Bradley. I undertook an independent review into people with mental health and learning disabilities who found themselves in the criminal justice system. This was commissioned by the government in 2007 and reported in April uh, 2009. The review found that there were thousands of people who were in the criminal justice system who hadn't been identified with a mental health or learning disability. My key recommendation is that early assessment should be undertaken, ideally before people offend, but if they do offend, at the first point of contact with the criminal justice system, which is normally at the police station. We need to establish mental health criminal justice teams, multi-agency teams that can look at the complex needs of the individual when they're first arrested and taken into police custody. What the review critically found were that many people with mental health or learning disabilities also had other complex needs including drug and alcohol problems and opportunities were missed to ensure that the package of care that an individual needs are presented to them at the first opportunity rather than waiting till they find themselves in prison. I was delighted to meet the Women's Institute during my review period and they gave powerful evidence to the review to ensure that their Care Not Custody campaign was at the centre of my thinking and I'm very pleased that that campaign is continuing through the WI branches throughout the country. I think it will be essential for them to maintain their campaign so that in the changing situation we find with the new government, there is recognition of the importance of this policy area. And we need organisations throughout the country and the WI to support continuing this work in the coming years. I'm Michael Palin. I'm an actor and a traveller and well, I do all sorts of things. And for a long time, I've been interested in prisons and prison reform because I've visited prisons myself. Prison should be a place not of first resort, but of last resort. And there are many other ways I think you can deal with offenders other than cutting them off from the world. I'm John Thornhill. I'm chairman of the Magistrates Association, which represents some 30,000 magistrates across England and Wales. One of the problems that magistrates regularly face in court are offenders who have some form of mental health problem. 
it is often difficult to deal with these because they should be diverted from the prison system if at all possible. They need support and help. I had an example in a court recently where a young man who had come out of prison serving half his sentence went to his doctor to seek a prescription. As a result, he ended up going to the local hotel, letting people know that he was going to steal by putting on a high visibility jacket and telling people he was going into the hotel to steal laptop computers. He was picked up sauntering along the dock road waiting for the police to pick him up. Why did he want to go back into prison? Because that's clearly the message. And he wants to go back into prison because when he'd gone to his doctor for prescription for his medication, he was told that because he'd been in prison, he would have to start the process again. In my view, and that of my colleagues, the health service let that young man down. And we were, were frustrated because we had to send him back to custody. Nobody offered an alternative programme or a way of ensuring that that young man was properly supported. Colin Moses, National Chairman of the POA, which represents 36,000 uniformed staff who work in prisons throughout the United Kingdom. We have far too many mentally ill people in prison. Prison has become a dumping ground. The warehouse system of our society, that is not right. My name's Paul McKeever. I'm the Chairman of the Police Federation of England and Wales. People with mental health issues are being put through the system. They shouldn't be there in the first place. They should be getting treatment somewhere else, not in prison. And uh, we think it's a national disgrace that so many people with mental health issues, identified mental health issues, are actually turning up again and again in the criminal justice system. My name's Shami Chakrabarti and I'm the Director of Liberty, the National Council for Civil Liberties. I think prison needs to be reserved for Britain's most dangerous offenders. It shouldn't become a big private industry that trades on people's misery. It shouldn't be an alternative welfare state where the vulnerable, the mentally ill and the illiterate founder away for years on end with no hope of any real rehabilitation. My name is Sue Fort, Fort Foreman. Um, I, um, my son had complex needs. He had um, a diagnosis of Asperger's and also a diagnosis of personality disorder. Martin's whole life was coloured and driven by the need to have friends and to be able to fit in. My feeling is, is that prison is not the right place for someone with complex needs. Um, he had 25 convictions for a fray and was repeatedly um, re re remanded in prison for psychiatric assessments, which all too often led to nothing at all except a discharge straight onto the streets, homeless, with nothing in place. What happens is, is that my son would come to court, um, but, but nothing was actually done to address his, his difficulties. Nobody actually asked him why he was getting so upset. Consequently, my son lurched from crisis to crisis. My son died in 2007 from an accidental drug overdose at just 23 years of age without getting any help or support from either the um, addiction agencies or from the mental health services. I'm Juliet Lyon and I'm Director of the Prison Reform Trust. We're making this action pack to support the WI campaign, Care Not Custody. This is a campaign that grew out of a terrible tragedy, the death of the son of a WI member, a young man who was seriously mentally ill, who instead of getting the treatment he needed, ended up killing himself in a very bleak prison. But from this awful tragedy, some good things have already emerged. The campaign is making an impact. You'll see from the film the number of criminal justice professionals who agree with and support the aims of the campaign. And with their help and the sheer force of the WI membership, we believe that you can achieve very much indeed and you can really change a situation where today there are 85,000 people in prison, many of them still in need of mental health care. It's through this campaign that we can hope for sensible diversion into appropriate care.